Hello and welcome to five minutes, just about, uh, about ADHD and autism. The sun was shining, so I had to go out in my garden. Um, and actually, there is something out here I will show you. And I will show you, show you that because uh, the next five minutes is about are you special or are you wrong when you have ADHD and autism? And I have some flowers I want to show you out here. Many people will will tell me that these are wrong, but I love them. I think they are fascinating. They are beautiful, and uh, and that that they are not like all the others makes them precious to me. And uh, I feel the same way about uh, people with ADHD and autism. They make my life much more rich than I could uh, than I could have myself have done myself. Um, when um, when there's a beautiful sunset, I often don't notice. I don't recognize it at all. A beautiful flower, a special insect, um, all kind of uh, special uh, views in the landscape or wherever it is. I don't see them, but they do, and they show me. and And I feel that my life is being more. I'm I'm getting more grateful. I'm getting more surprised by the nature and by stuff and people around me because they make me stop and watch so i know that people with adhd and autism often think and see the world in another way than i do but but then when we walk together i can show them my way and they can show me their way and together we we know a lot more than we could have known if we didn't walk together I know as a teacher it can um, it can be very frustrating when when I'm teaching them to do it my way the teacher's way you have to do it this way and they say no I'll do it my way and I say no you don't do it you do it my way um, and a few seconds after they have solved all my uh, all uh, uh, all the stuff I gave I, I told them to do but in a totally other way than I would have done but they are right. It's great. And, um, and my mission with these five minutes is to tell you that you're not wrong, though you are something special. Your diagnosis makes you something special. And uh, instead of believing in, I, I'm sure many people have told you you're wrong, but instead turn it in your head and say, no, I'm something special. Um, Another uh, thing where I have noticed the difference many times is um, the word uh, on signs um, on our way. The first was on the doctor's door, and uh, it said, the door is open, just enter. And uh, the boy I was following with said, no, I am not going in there. So why not? Because doctors are liars. What? <laughs> no, I'm not liars. He's lying on his door. The door is open, but I can see it's locked. So when he tells me it won't hurt, I don't believe him. Because he has a sign who said, I'm a liar. Um, actually, it was a little bit funny, but and we laughed a little bit about it when he understood the meaning about the door was not locked. That was what he called opened. Um, but, uh, but again, it reminds me about how different we see the world. And... Um, and I would never have noticed that funny stuff uh, without him. Um, and uh, many, um, many known people, inventors, uh, actors, musicians, they have ADHD or autism or have had uh, while they were living uh, because that makes them go where other people said it can't be done. It makes them um, say or do things that no one has thought about before. And that makes them special. And some of them, it makes them famous. But, but that's not the point to be famous. The point is to change the world you're living in. And you have some special, special um, skills to do that if you have ADHD and autism because you think out of the box. You don't just do the stuff every other day. You don't look like maybe all the other days. Do something special and keep doing that, please, because we need each other. We need something special in our
in our in our countries. So that was my way to you. Be who you are. Be proud of it.